Fulham have finally sealed the deal to bring in Arsenal number two, Baron Leno, a top, top glass goalkeeper, and by far a goalkeeper for me who could easily be starting as a number one for any club outside the top six. He is absolutely brilliant and a top class goalkeeper. He will bring this Fulham side so much on the pitch and as well off the pitch with his leadership skills. This is a brilliant signing, whichever way you look at it, financially and on the pitch. Baron Leno is a top signing and could be arguably one of the best signings of the summer. Just looking at value and what he brings you on the pitch, this is a brilliant deal for Fulham. Of course, they've had a fantastic summer already. The likes of Joao Paulinha coming in from Sporting. You've had Andreas Pereira coming from Manchester United. The preseason Pirlo. And of course, already Kevin Mbabu to stir up that right back position. They've had a fantastic summer. But by far, for me, Baron Leno is the best signing of all of them. And could be, by the end of the season, the signing of the summer. Yes, it is a bold shout with, of course, Erling Haaland, like Alessandro Martinez, Darwin Nunez, and so many top players out there. But for me, Burn Leno could easily shock everyone and be the signing of the summer. And there is so many ways to break it down. And we got to start with the value for money. You look at this deal up front. It is coming out to a total of eight million pounds, and that is all after add-ons. He's signing a three-year deal with an option of a fourth year. But like I said, that is eight million in total. So that's after all the add-ons and that's if they're all hit. It comes in at 3 million pounds up front. They're only paying Arsenal 3 million pounds up front for a top class goalkeeper who could be really starting for any top class club even in the Bundesliga or a other league out there. So 3 million pounds smash of the park. 1 million pounds is based on his performances in the Premier League. 2 million pounds is if Fulham stay in the Premier League and 2 million pounds is also added on if they stay in the Premier League for two seasons. Either way you look at it for Fulham, if you're paying that extra two million for staying in the Prem, they've smashed the deal. If you pay another two million, this deal is worked off absolutely immaculately. This is a piece of brilliance from Fulham. To add on all those installments, those bonuses, it's like you're playing football manager, it's like you're playing FM, which I'm addicted to, but it is like you're playing FM, you're adding on all these bonuses, these installments, and they have just swindled Arsenal for me here, because you're looking at this deal, only 3 million pounds up front, that's a smash, but then you look at add-ons and all those things on top of that, if those are hit, you're thinking, who cares if we're paying that, because this signing's got us so much more money by staying in the Premier League, accomplishing our goals, keeping us in the Premier League for so much longer than we wanted, to, than we need or expected to be, and... It's really where they want to be is in the Premier League. And for me as a footballing fan, as a Premier League fan, we need Fulham in the Prem. They're a historic Premier League club. They're everything we want. The ground, the fans, the atmosphere. It's everything the Premier League needs. And I think Bern Leno is going to be a guy who can keep them in there. And like I said, I think he's going to be one of the signings in the summer. I might even, when I do my predictions video coming up very soon, he might be in for my signing of the summer. Because this deal might be a smash on so many different ways. The, like I said, the value for money there, it's a brilliant move. And we have to look at what he brings you on, on your pitch. What he will be bringing Fulham on the pitch is absolutely crazy. Because of course, as we know, Baron Leno is a 30-year-old German goalkeeper, German international. And coming from four to five years playing with Arsenal, he was absolutely brilliant. Of course, last year didn't really play with the arrival of Aaron Ramsdale. And a lot of people will be saying, well, he's not good enough. He's worse than Aaron Ramsdale. That is to the person viewing because Aaron Ramsdale suits a Mikhail Arteta system. He can play with the ball at his feet. He can adopt that kind of system. What Bern Leno gives you is a shot stopper. He is a pure shot stopper. He is not a guy who's going to be able to take nice passes, control the ball, ping it long, do an Ederson, do an Ramsdale, and control it nicely and slow the game down or hit a long ball. That is not a Baron Leno st style of game. Bern Leno is going to give you a unbelievable shot stopping at keeping the ball out of the back of the net. And that is exactly what Fulham need in the Premier League or coming up to the Premier League. They need a true goalkeeper who is up to the level of the Premier League. A goalkeeper who is able to really not, day in and day out, night in and night out, be able to go out there, have the confidence, have the leadership to go out there and just save the ball. Literally, as Ben Foster falls, he goes out and says, just got to keep the ball in the back of the net. That's what a goalkeeper is supposed to do, and that's what Baron Leto specializes at. And I think he's going to smash it at Fulham. I really do. I think this is a brilliant deal. He's staying in London. He's not having to relocate. He's not having to really move. Don't know his family situation, but at the age of 30, this is a brilliant move for him. This is truly fantastic. Staying in London, 
staying in the really the best city in England that all footballers want to play in. And going to a club like Fulham, you're not going to somewhere else that's not historical. This is a side that's in the Premier League that has history. He's going to be playing and backed by an unbelievable group of fans week in and week out. The atmosphere is unbelievable. It is fantastic. I'd love to get myself down to a Fulham game sometime if I get back to England. But for me, Burn Leno to Fulham is just an absolute no-brainer. And the fact that I'm not seeing more people talk about this is absolutely insane. Because Burn Leno to Fulham has to be one of the signings of the summer and if people aren't looking at it right now like that I think they're going to really regret it come to the end of the season because he, because what he brings you just for the value for money and also on the pitch and how this deal is structured I don't understand how you can't look at this as one of the best deals in the summer because what Fulham and other promotional teams have done in the past is not brought in Premier League proven or Premier League quality players I spoke about this even with my Ryan Fredericks video to Bournemouth I know that's a very underrated deal for Bournemouth, but he brings you Premier League quality and Premier League experience. And what Baron Leto is bringing you, he is a top class goalkeeper, could easily play with one of the top teams in the Premier League, outside the top six in my opinion. He could easily be filling in for a West Ham, a Brighton, or any of those teams out there. But Baron Leno is getting the chance to go play in Fulham, in London, staying where he is now, and playing for a side that just got promoted. And Fulham smashed it. Because you look at what Sheffield United did in the past. They brought in Dean Henderson on loan. And look what happened for them. They got promoted. Or they stayed in the division when they got promoted. And next year on, they ended up having to get Aaron Ramsdale, who wasn't really fully up to it. And then they had the second season syndrome. And what Fulham have done, they've secured a top-class goalkeeper for more than just a loan season. And a guy who's going to be with them for a while. And they've also brought in other Premier League proven players around them. Andreas Pereira, yes, he hasn't cut it at Manchester United, but I think he's suited for this kind of a level. And they've also brought in like a guy like Kevin Mbappé, who I think he's going to be quality. And I'll also be breaking down all the transfers from each team. So don't worry about this video, guys, where we're going to touch on each little one. But I just think it's very interesting to see the business they've done. It's very smart. Bringing in a guy like Joao Palinha who I think will suit in beautifully right beside Nathaniel Chalaba. They'll have a great pivot in the midfield in that 4-2-3-1 system, where I think Joao Paulinha at the age of 27 he has great value. He's a great player. It's great value for money as well. They've really smashed this window, Fulham, and I think it's about time that they've done a window where you look at it, you're like, yeah, they've actually done well. They haven't overspent terrifically. They haven't brought in too many players. I remember a couple of seasons back where they just went out and brought like 13, 14 players. And you just don't have the chemistry. I think this Fulham team, of course, is lacking in a lot of areas. But I think with the signings they've made, they could stay up. I do have a bold prediction on Fulham that will come in my Premier League predictions. But Baron Leno, for me, is going to be possibly the signing of the summer. The best value for money signing so far. And I can't wait to see what Fawzi has to say about it on the Fawzi cast. Because I know we'll be hearing about his opinions on this transfer. Because it is right up his alley. And this is such an exciting deal. Full mismatch. It is a home run. This is a beautiful deal. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments about Baron Leno going to Fulham, staying in London, but playing for Fulham. Of course, a better club than Arsenal. You got to be kidding me. Who wants to be a gooner? But Burn Leno is off to Fulham for an extremely beautiful deal for everyone involved. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Fulham fans, get in there. Premier League fans, I'm back, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Just everything in general. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Premier League stuff going on. Anything you want to talk about, hit it in the comments. Of course, hit that sub button. It means the absolute world to me, guys. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.